Being connected has a lot to do with this concept of relationship capital. Relationship capital is a very important concept in like any other kind of capital. You can make deposits of relationship capital and you can make withdrawals of relationship capital. When people are running around networking, trying to figure out what they can get from the networking group or the networking people or the networking event, are they trying to make deposits or are they trying to make withdrawals? If you're trying to get something from the group, you are making a withdrawal. And like every single bank account you've ever had, if you don't have any money in there, you have a real hard time getting anything out, don't you? Obviously, you all wouldn't know anything about that. A bunch of wealthy, well-to-do people in here, so good on you. <laughs> sales achievement, baby. It's not sales failure, right? That's a different group. They're meeting here next week. <laughs> you have to make deposits first. And in the world of relationship capital, you make deposits by being of assistance, by giving to other people. And so many times we have this issue with what do we have to give? It's not just about business or leads or referrals. Sometimes it could be as simple as time or attention or love or knowledge. Or just, hey, I saw this article. It reminded me of you. Take a look and see if this resonates. We have all of this stuff to share. Be in the habit of giving first. Because when you do, it's a lot easier to make that call or send that email to be asking for whatever it is you want. Because of one of these universal laws that I was talking about earlier is the law of reciprocity. The law of reciprocity very simply states is I go out of my way to assist you or to be of service to you, you're going to go out of your way to return the favor. That's what reciprocate means.